Welcome back everyone to a cast of players, the Chronicles of Valtor. And you join our group as they have just left the lighthouse in Arkport after their conversation through a barred door <laughs> with Aral, Ooh. the only elf in the town who has warned them that they should leave for the hag will be after them. And it seems that she is aware of your presence given that you entered the lighthouse on a nice balmy summer's day, mid afternoon, and you have left through torrential rainstorms, dark clouds overhead, and barely able to see your own hand in front of your face. Such is the downpour that assails you. I fear for my scalp. Yes, you also yeah. found uh, <laughs> one of the contacts, uh, Larissa, a half-elf who was scalped and strangled to death in Aral's cot. More like love missing her scalp. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not technically incorrect, but... Let's write that one down. <laughs> For any other scout-based puns than my crop Never be so sure. <laughs> so, what is it that you would like to do? Now, there was talk of you going to uh, the Moonspring. As, as we leave, Dorian turns to Gregor, and um, I point to the, my pack. How about you... Uh, you fru fuse up this thing in here. Yes, I'm starting to think, based on our previous escapades, that if, say, we had just blown that house up to start with before we went in there, it would have saved us a lot of trouble. I feel this might be a time to prepare something a bit more spicy, shall we say? I am going to need time, though, so unfortunately, I think the only place we can go to rest up and allow me some concentration time is the inn. Okay. I'm very suspicious of the inn, but rest. I just need somewhere to some time. No sleep. <laughs> Rest, no sleep. There's not going to be any sleep for me. If I fall asleep while making one of these, we're all dead. How long, <laughs> how long is it going to take him to fuse them up? It will take him approximately 17 five weeks. uninterrupted hours. Oh, that's a long time. That would be quite it's a very late. delicate operation. Yeah. He doesn't have the right tools. That means we wouldn't leave until it was like 11 o'clock at night to go to the spring. The watching hour! The spooky caves at night. Does yeah. anyone have coffee? Oh, it's, it's 11 p.m. Yeah, yeah. I'm like going that. to bed like half past seven. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, <laughs> Katie in real life. Yes. <laughs> yeah. well, if we're going to the spring at half eleven, we need some energy to get through the adventure. Have you got any sort of herb in your pouches that might be able to keep me alert, keep everyone alert? Some perkies, yes, and plenty of those. A couple of so those can... in your finest beverage, please. Would you like me to make it uh, as a tea? or as some kind of uh, chewable substance. A chewable might be nice, actually, because it might distract me from making any mistakes. Yes, it tastes very nice. Marvels. Unless you chew it more than seven times. <laughs> oh, don't give me math to do. I need to make a high X explosive. Do you say it's raining really hard, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? Really? Shall we go <laughs> to the inn? <laughs> Who said that? It's dark and wet. I can't see. Yeah, thunder rolls uh, overhead. Uh, lightning really breaking the mood, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shouting at time. each other about Perkins. <laughs> right, to the inn. To the, yeah. end. to the end. You head back to the end. Is right. this the montage sequence where he like now assembles all of the things very delicately? Yeah. Constantly. Brow, yeah, well, yeah, his brow. Well, be his brow. <laughs> the best part about it is, is that it is in one of those traditional comedic uh, moments where he starts wiping his brow, handling tongs, and then it's just pouring water uh, into a, a glass. And he's like, when are you going to start the bomb? The bomb? Yeah, the, the bomb? Yeah. You said you mean he's pouring wine yeah, back yeah, yeah. into the bottle? Yeah, yeah. So, like, not what do you mean the later. bomb? Yeah. Um, you head back to the inn as you approach the, the door opens, uh, Irene and the land. He's like, oh, my dears, come in, come in, come in. The storm's come completely out of nowhere. I you don't trust no, Irene there no, anymore. There was no one else on the streets at this point. You, you notice as you were heading up, they were all heading inside and battening down the hatches, as it were. Can I reinvestigate the, um, the writings from Anna? Make an investigation check. Oh, um, a 23. Oh, Yeah, she makes mention of a lot of the stuff that she's... I've already said, like, mm -hmm. um, Errol's an elf, uh, she doesn't like Arena because she's a meanie and therefore evil. Um, yes. She likes Victor because she is allowed to um, pet and look after Amethyst whilst he's out fishing. 
Um, she says that Victor is very quiet, but he and everyone says that he's a bit weird, but she's um, never had any sort of bad encounters with him. He leaves town once every fortnight or two to go and sell wares. There's other little bits, you know, names that you don't recognize, but generally it's, mm. it's, it's a 10 year old girl. Me? who's rambling about who her favourite people in town are yes. based on how many horses they own. Dorian, when you're doing your spooky vision and seeing if people are enchanted, what kind of a vibe do you get from the old barkeep? Same as the others. Exactly the same. I mean, I don't want to read too much into the ramblings of a mad ten-year-old girl, but she does seem to have a weird dislike and a meanness to Irina. Perhaps the hack could be more literal than we think. Hmm. Oh, she's just a crazy old lady. <laughs> uh, well, I'll, Do, Dorian nods. Uh, I, I will prepare the, the ritual again so that I'll, I'll put the mask on and um, <clears throat> try and look again at the surroundings and mm -hmm. specifically at Irina. Is there any difference that I can ascertain? It's just a stronger presence? Saturated in enchantment yeah. magic. Listen, if it's all saturated in the same stuff. Whatever the enchantment is, it's really strong, but I'm not seeing any more from her. I understand. We could ask her if, who checked into the inn, though. Did well, Larissa maybe. check in? Might maybe? be worth a shot. Either way, you keep an eye on uh, Irina. I'm going to my lodgings to <coughs> make a really big bomb. Do you need any... Oh, he grins at that. <laughs> <laughs> do you need any assistance or do you need... I, I, I think he'll be, he'll be fine. Yeah. Probably best I'm left Please to myself. Me. Thank you very much. <laughs> the perkings will be wonderful, um, but it's probably best I'm just left to this. Yes, remember what I said? Don't chew them more than seven times. And remember what I said? If I start screaming or you hear me slip, run. Run very fast. Very well. As far away from here as possible. How long do you think it's going to take? Quite a few hours. Right. Give or take. If I'm quick, we could all die. If I'm slow, we could all get eaten by a hag. It's, well, it's, it's a tough one. Take your time. Thank Whilst you. we're waiting, perhaps this would be a pertinent time to uh, use the stone that you found. Whilst we're waiting, if we can get any clues. The sending stone? Yes. Do you want to send a message back to the friends? If we, we, was it sending stone? Sending stone, yeah. If, if we communicate through it, mm -hmm. does it come out in our own voices? Uh, or... You're not sure. It depends on the stone. Is it How a... sure are we of this stone? <laughs> <laughs> are they are they a two way like one is connected to another or is it if you have one you can they're, wire they're, into the network? They're, they're, they're not, they're not uh, like a, a long wave radio. It is they are on a one to two communication. Like a walkie talkie. Yes. So you can't you can't connect up to No one will be able to listen to what is said unless they have the other stone. Or are present when the stone is used. We don't know for sure who has the other stone. No, but we've not heard from them, and we have one way to go, which is into the hag cave. For the time being, whilst we're waiting, we may as well give it a shot. <coughs> well, on your way up <coughs> to your room, <laughs> Irina is, is, like, as you sort of head up, she's like, Would you like me to bring any food or drink up for you, my love, if you're taking an early night? It's quite all right. I, I would ask that you could maybe make sure no one is on the same floor as me for as long as possible. Well, that's okay. It's only you five here. Majestic. Maybe uh, tell people not to go upstairs for some time. And no loud noises. Would you like a do not disturb sign on your door, dearie? That would be wonderful. I'll make, I'll pop one on for you in just a moment. Thank you, Rarina. Also, we should tell the fellow with us what we've discovered. Mm. Yeah, you relay a lot of this yeah. information to Garrett and he's yeah. just... I assume Anna's not here anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> just seeing that he does not go to sleep. He does not... <laughs> I mean, I'm not even sure we should eat anything. No, yeah, I would be wise. Yeah, yeah, you don't have much to say about all of this. We've been trying to keep you in the loop. We've been very quiet. Is everything all right? No, everything's fine. I just, I'm just very perturbed by it all. I mean, Larissa was a quite a potent little fighter, bless her. Mm. Poor thing. To be scalped, you said. Well, it's horrible. You really might rough. be better off leaving the village tonight, taking the horses, going across the bridge, and making a camp outside the village. In on the mainland. What in this weather? Well, would you rather go to sleep and well, it sounds... maybe never wake up? Well, I mean, it sounds like we're stuck between a rock and a hard place, quite frankly, gentlemen. I'd rather be stuck uh, there maybe. than between a hag and a fey like what's... realm. <laughs> what's a bit of weather um, for the sake of your life? <laughs> well, you know, be that as it may, but, you know, we'd have to traverse out of town over the bridge and then sleep out in the elements, which, might I add, didn't work out 
too well for us last time. I take no responsibility for that. Oh, well, you should take all the responsibility, my dear. <laughs> the, the, the... Look, I'm happy to unstable the horses <clears throat> and to, 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 to head out into the darkness and the rain, but, I mean, do we know that that's even going to be any safer than staying here? At least with a roof over our heads, we can block doors and guard windows and whatnot. And we, out in the open in the elements, we are at, quite literally at the mercy of the darkness. At mm. that moment, you do hear a um, not completely worrying, <coughs> but slightly loud bang. <laughs> oh and no! And are shouting very loudly. But uh, then also, it's under control! <laughs> Just concerned noises. Did you tell him everything? Just I, 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 I'm, would, I'm would, you have, would you have told him everything? Um, I would have been hesitant to tell him about the hag because we don't know who's listening. Bear in mind, I would have, I've done the ritual at this point, so making sure that he's not suddenly enchanted himself. Could you make a perception check, actually? Oh, I no. said I was. I said. No, I know. I, I know. Could if you he's make got any enchantment, uh, oh, that's not a six. That's good. That's. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, that is a fourteen. You've been doing your uh, detect for long enough now to notice that um, you. Um, so before he went upstairs, Gregor, no pink, no pink, no pink, no pink. Garrett, no pink. As you're sort of discussing stuff, you do notice there is a slight tinge on the end of your fingertip. What, my fingertip? Of pink. Oh. No, no, there isn't. <laughs> I mean, there is. No, but there isn't. No. I'm telling you, there's not. I washed that up. <laughs> I washed <laughs> I washed the pink away. Outstand spots. No. Uh, okay, so I... Okay, Dorian take, like, sits up right suddenly. Well, whatever this is, it's beginning. And I, I imply by looking at my hands that there is obviously some enchantment beginning. But do you relate? Do I see it? Do I see it on anyone else? Um, or just my finger? At the moment, just because it's closer to you, it's just yours that you can see. And then go inspecting Garrett. No, Nothing. You don't see anything. Why am I being targeted? I don't want that. No, no, I'm not interested. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can see your pink is on at the end of a fingertip. Yeah. Someone else's might be someone else. Okay. <laughs> oh, what they been up to? <laughs> My goodness. Uh, right. Um, yeah. Are you going to tell him everything? Garrett everything? Yeah. Yes, at this point I would have told him everything, I think, realistically. <clears throat> did you down the wine? Was that you that did that? Was yeah, it? you did down the wine. I did down the wine. I, pour, I, didn't, I sniffed the beer, then poured it away. You what are you talking about? You would have drunk it as soon as it ended to you. I, I actually sniffed it and poured it away. Oh, it's like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> you downed the wine. I did. Yeah. I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I say, listen, don't drink anything. Don't touch it, any of the food here. And I, and I turned to Gary. Have you, have you had anything here yet? I mean, I had a sandwich earlier, but, you know. Oh, no! <laughs> it's just a beef and horseradish sandwich, my sir. It's fine. From your own pack, or? No, from, from here. The, she, the, the lady of the inn offered me food. It was part of the lodgings. I bought it. This was before you told me of what was potentially she, bloody going on here. You should check them over. Yeah. I, uh, well, I mean, keep... I can't see anything visible. I'm not going to uh, pat him down. Grab his hands! <laughs> keep your hands to yourself, sir! Yeah, I, don't, I don't go near him. Um, Check him out. <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to be scalped at this point, look. Well, I say to throw Garrett uh, under the bus. Show, we show him the sending stone. Do you think you can send a message back to you? Because he is one of the friends now. Yeah, he's one of the contacts. Yeah, yeah so, I mean, he's, he he's a bit more clued up than we are. In terms yeah, of... when you show him the sending stone, he's just like... That could very well be one of the friends. He has, uh, I mean, several dozen dotted about the area and the region, so it wouldn't surprise me if this was one of them. We found Victor's house, or whatever his real name is. He has a sending stone, and whatever it is he's planning with, with that much amount of fullness, I don't know, but, you know, the friend has his, his, his means and methods and, and whatnot, but regardless, it, it stands to reason that this would be one of the friend's stones to connect with him, to contact him, to tell him when a drop is coming in, or if a, clearly a shipment has been delayed, or, you know, if he was in danger. Obviously, this has all happened before he could send a message out. Do you think you could relay a message for us? Yes, yes, of course. Let them know that we're here, Victor's missing. Yeah, no, absolutely. The circumstances around this village. Well, as much as I can fit into the time constraint, yes. Okay then, uh, slide <laughs> in there. Bless you. Stay. Bless you. 
That's the noise one of the bombs makes. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I'm gonna go <laughs> talk to Irina. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm gonna go over and see if I can. She's out in the, uh, in the in the corner of the room. She's got her shawl over her knee. She's so reading a little. Nerissa bit. was sent ahead, and who else? Uh, Erwin, Erwin Shinley. Who we've not. You've not seen. With him. golden eyes and a missing left pinky. He's a gnome. Yep. He is a gnome. Yes. Oh no. Must oh, find the gnome. Hey. I, Irina, you said there's only <laughs> five of us in the inn. That's Sorry. that's right. Yes, yes, um, yes. yes. Your, yourselves, your friend who's disappeared for an early night, and um, well, yes. Well, I myself, I suppose that makes six. Well, we had another friend coming through this way called Irwin. Is and he's a, was he a halfling or a gnome? He was a gnome. A gnome. A gnome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which are not the same thing. Um, so he was a gnome. If, have you seen him pass through? He would have uh, taken up lodging here. I've not seen any. I've certainly not seen any gnomes for well, some time. They're uh, not really an area for for, for gnomes, I suppose. Uh, uh, an elf, half elf called Larissa. Sorry, my love, the name doesn't ring a bell. Okay, thank you. No problem. Just uh, going to arrange some stuff in my room. Be back down soon. Uh, no problem. Uh, have, have a good evening. We'll be leaving probably uh, around 10, maybe 11. Oh, I w- Let I... ourselves out. No, my, my dear. I, I, I mean, I will lock the door, but there, there, there isn't really an entrance to come back in. So if you'd be out in the elements, I, I, I wouldn't feel right letting you go out. I'm not. I also, I'm afraid I've only got the one set of keys. Okay. Come on, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm bombsmithing, baby. <laughs> uh, would you be able to leave the keys in my care so I can let myself out? I'll lock the door and post them back through the... You seem like a nice young man, but I, I'm afraid that it's just... You, it's just not... It wouldn't be the done thing, is all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my dear, but I, I just if you wish to go out past the, the, the ten, that's perfectly fine, but uh, I'm afraid I, I won't be awake to let you back in. That's okay. I'm afraid I can't give you the keys either. You, think of it from my perspective, my dear. Would you trust a stranger with, with a set of keys to your livelihood, your home? Well, you could look at it this way, though. Would you lock yourself in with a stranger? <laughs> Could you make an intimidation? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. Uh, oh, crikey, uh, 18. Yeah, she's. <laughs> I, wait, wait, I, mean, I mean, you never know. You've, you've let into your house, dude. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I've not joined you. I'm just sat looking in horror. Yeah, uh, Dorian's like deadpan, just looking well, at her. Uh, uh, well, I suppose I. Could just this once. Thank you. Um, I, I, I hold my hand out for the keys. Yeah, she she fumbles around sort of beneath her apron and pulls out a, a jangling set of keys. She, um, there's about a dozen on there. Yeah, that's for the storeroom. She finds like one of the keys, uh, unhooks it. So, uh, that's for the, the, the front door. Um, could I ask you not come back? Too late, or too loudly as well. I, I promise you, hear nothing. <laughs> 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 and then I walk upstairs. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Can I ask how many rooms are in the inn? Uh, it's about 15. 15. So now what I'm going to do is check every room. Yeah, I was I was You only thinking. have a front door key, you don't have the keys. No, but I'm gonna check every room, see if the, the doors are, are no, indeed I'm locked. I'm an expert all the other, all lock the other picker. May I join yeah. you then on I, your quest? I, I nod to Acacia. Yeah, I'm just skirting now, I don't trust her. I'm just hanging out with Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about horses. Yeah, Ga- Ga- Garrett oh, is... Trust. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> oh, where is the hag? Wait, just sending a message through our magic stone. <laughs> well, you're with him, so present there. Yeah, yeah he, he, he sends a message saying, um, Victor not here. Yeah, have arrived, um, Victor not here. Yeah, have arrived, Victor not here. Appears village compromised, investigating further. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, Garrett. <laughs> I'm just going to stay down here and keep an eye on the yes. door. <laughs> right. um, before I leave, I'll, I'll ask you to keep an eye on Irina as well. Pardon? <coughs> keep an eye on Irina. I don't trust her. Yes. So I forgot who that was. <laughs> okay. Very well. Where are you going? Upstairs? <coughs> yes, I'll, I'll be back. Don't worry. Very well. Where did she keep the keys? Uh, uh, under her apron. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. Can I lock picker? Can I lock picker? Lock <laughs> 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 picker, or you can could I? pick her pocket. <laughs> Yeah, you can do lock that. Lockpick, a.k.a. stab her to death. <laughs> <laughs> like, everything's a lock if you've got the right tools. 
pickpocket her. You pickpocket her. What? From the belt. The I, I mean, you can certainly try. <laughs> I'm gonna give it some time. She's already what stressed out. Give me some time. Yeah, well, how, what, 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 what scenario would you like to try and lockpick her under? <laughs> Are you going to do it whilst her, while she's <laughs> awake, while she's cleaning the glasses, in fear no, for her life? That's why I said, I'll give it, I'll give it some time. Yeah. I don't need to lockpick her right now. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she, she's just been threatened. Yeah, and you're she, 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 be like, you, what, what you do notice <laughs> is she, not been threatened. She, she goes back to her corner with her Crying. book and she pours herself a very large glass of sherry. Yeah, she's on sherry. high alert. I'm not going to mess with her right now. I'm going to wait until she's a few glasses of sherry in. A couple of very big glasses. That's fine. Go off, fine. With, go off with my friend here. You're making a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most D &D D &D conversation ever. Do you're dogs. making a bomb. I'm making many bombs. <laughs> you're, look, you're breaking into rooms in an inn. I'm you helping. want to pickpocket the innkeeper, <laughs> and you're sat here assuming that she's a hag with your NPC <laughs> companion who's just sent a message. This is just. I'm not good. assuming she's a hag. She is. I just I'll keep an eye on the door in case. I'm hot up on Perky. <laughs> <laughs> right. You um, are downstairs with with Garrett for yes. a bit. Um, he is sort of deep in thought and. Contemplation at this. Um, he sort of uh, has some small talk conversation with you, but nothing of real note. Um, you can tell that he's doing it, and there's this this almost moment of clarity for you where you go, Ah, this is the horse guy, and he's come along and he's stabbed someone and he's doing this, he's doing that. The way he's talking to you, no, he's observing, he's 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 talking kind of nonsense at you so that he can be aware of something of other things but after about 45 minutes or so he, he li listen i'm going to go upstairs and i'm going to just take a moment to rest I'm not going to sleep don't worry yeah but um will you be okay down here by yourself yes take these <clears throat> what are they don't chew them more than seven times <laughs> they'll taste horrible they'll just keep you awake seven times yes i understand and he Heads on upstairs, walks past oh. you two, basically fiddling at locks. He just <laughs> and goes into um, his room. So, can a case you open these doors? Make a sleight of hand check 15 times. <laughs> I'm not well, going to ask you to do it 15 times. You can are... I use a luck reroll? You can. Yeah. If you have luck. You must do. You're an elf. Are you lucky? No. Then you don't have luck points. Ah! Oh. How badly were. Did you fail? Is in with a D6. What's the roll? It was a nine. Well, the rolls are three. Okay, and then add six. So nine. nine. Your choice if you want to add bardic inspiration to that. <laughs> yeah, as you're, you're uh, as, as you can see that you seem to be struggling with the lock, I said, it's okay, we have time. And I, I'm just trying to reassure you. And you can that sense how nervous I am. I saw yeah. a dead horse. Place an espionage. Music. Yeah, it's <laughs> such a weird D and D mechanic with the bar. But yeah, <laughs> the bang, 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 bang. you are inspired. <laughs> so what does that mean again? Uh, basically, you add you an add a D6. additional D six now if you want, but you will need to roll it again. Oh, to this whole the, yeah. So it, it's it's technically not a reaction to add on after the fact. You need to be inspired before the roll. Oh, sure. But you have time to try again. So I can try. I roll a D twenty again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you can add a, a new D twenty if you want to. <laughs> How many rooms are there? <laughs> worse. Ten. How could it be worse? Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, the, I mean in they're, they're they're in locks. <laughs> they're, they're not they're not locked well. Yeah. Uh, you know they they are. A I very could practically simple... just stab it. And... Uh, yeah, fine. sure. Uh, of course you want to stab it. <laughs> Can they, I take they an are... athletics check instead? No, they are a very simple lock, and you do manage to unlock them. You're you're going so very smart. slowly so as to not cause any noise. Um, you open the first room. There's nothing in there. It's an empty room. You open the second room. It's empty. There's nothing in there. You open the third room, it's empty, there's nothing in there. So on, so forth, for nine rooms. Is one of the rooms like in The Shining? <laughs> Just close so the door So how many again. rooms have we looked at so far? All ten. All ten. They're all empty, identically so no pressed sign of linens. Anyone having checked no in. One's checked no one's No belongings in. left. No, is it all one hallway? Uh, it's two hallways. Two, two hallways. Can I check the hallways for any secret buttons or...? Don't <laughs> see anything that could be a trap. Make an investigation check. And make an investigation check. Watch this. Um, well, that is a 20. Yeah, it's a, it's an inn. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
I've been playing a lot of World Escape. So there's a storage cellar <laughs> as well, right? There's a storage cellar. That's the only other place in the area. Well, we've not checked our own rooms. No, you've not. Okay, yeah. I'd like to check we'll, my we'll, we'll go through the rooms just in case yep. yeah. a previous nothing. guest have been there. Not a single you thing. It was worth Not a try. Door. Back downstairs, uh, Irene has poured out her second glass of large sherry. Oh, <coughs> there you are, Irene. <laughs> <laughs> Tis the weekend. Is it? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, it's, 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 it's me lost today. Oh, jolly good. It's not. <laughs> oh, that's not good. And I know it's actually that. closer to like when Wednesday in Valtor World. What do you say, Maylos? Saturday oh. in Valtor World. Yes, Maylos. Yeah. Very good. Well, would you like to join me for one at least? Or do I see you've not touched any of your food. Uh, I, no, I'm feeling a bit uh, funny. Oh, uh, yes, bit of a bit of a turn, you see. Well, maybe you should have a lie down then, my dear. Well. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm quite all right, very comfortable in your fine establishment. Mm. Uh, I can put another log on the fire if you wish, or, or I could uh, fetch you a blanket. No, I'm fine. Uh, do you have a, do anything medicinal that I could get for you? I've got uh, plenty of my own, thank you very much. No, no but I just want to make sure you're comfortable. Oh, yes, very nice. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Are we expecting mm. any other guests this evening? No, as I say, you're the first ones I've seen for some time, so... Um, I'm not expecting anyone else. When's the last time someone checked in? Oh, maybe, uh, maybe a, a few weeks ago uh, we had some visitors uh, interested in the, in the moon spring, you see. A few weeks ago? Yes. My goodness. Yes. Yes. In, in this economy, that must be, must be pretty tough. <laughs> yes, yes it is, but I, I'm hoping that when the spring is up and running, I, I, well, the, the, the Cliff House will receive uh, more uh, customers and uh, well at the moment I'm the only game in town you see so mm. I'm sure there will be more competition but uh, there's something to be said for the quaintness of the, uh, the the original you know I'm hoping that will be a selling point for uh, for some of the visitors when 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 we open up the springs proper yes so who, who was it that came to look at the, uh, to the stage to go and see the springs before do you remember oh, I, don't, I don't remember their name some noble from Greyhold uh, merchant family or whatnot or did they have a nice time I believe so, yes. Yes, uh, <laughs> I think they had a wonderful time. But, uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's more of a business uh, trip for them, you know, looking to invest <coughs> and, and, and what they can uh, uh, utilise and leverage in, 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 you know, as these people are allowed to make money from it. And, you know, I, I believe there was talk of them buying up, a, not necessarily a plot of land, but one of the houses and uh, from one of the villagers. Uh, I, I'm not sure if any of the... Uh, processes went through, but uh, that would all go through Mr. Estrup, I suppose. Yes. Yeah, all yes. The land deeds and whatnot. Investing in your nice port town. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. It would be nice to have a little bit of uh, rejuvenation in, 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 in the town. Yes. Do, do, do you think you'd, you'd move on if they tried to, to buy up the old, uh, the old girl? Oh, no. I've been here for far too long to move on now at this point. It's just. Uh, yeah, I'm old. Where am I going to go? My life is here. Yes. Uh, yes. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> she reaches for her glass of sherry and goes back to her book. Mm. <laughs> Mildly the awkward. <laughs> anyway. You're in your room tinkering. You're downstairs. What We've are you probably doing? Been made our way back yeah. downstairs now. You're back downstairs? Yeah. Okay. Gregor, could you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Oh, God. <laughs> a saving throw? He's making a bomb. Wisdom or intelligence? Wisdom. Can it be intelligence? Wisdom. Oh, that's an 11. You're very tired. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, can I have my perky? That doesn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> yes, he said it did. Yes. It's good stuff. I made that myself. <laughs> Faulty batch, maybe. You're very tired. I feel like you should no. roll an additional cool. D6 for the perky. Cool, cool. <laughs> if you're allowed. Know Set the voice to the left of the DM. <laughs> Why it's very warm, Gideon. Could you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Nope. I'm glad this is happening to everyone, not just me. Ah! Oh, the one. <laughs> My place is very warm. Whoa. Your medicinal. Herbs are flowing through you. Take away my last perky. <laughs> you, might, you, you, you know, that blanket did sound very appealing, but actually you're very comfortable in this chair. Mm -hmm. 
It won't hurt to close your eyes for a moment. Oh, I think it might. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go upstairs? Uh, no, but at this point, we've he, gone we've downstairs. Come downstairs. He's, oh, you've come downstairs. He's asleep in the chair. I'm asleep! <laughs> Dorian <laughs> slaps him <laughs> in the face. Yeah. Not hard, but, hard. you know. Get up! <laughs> Say to you. Steady on. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Was that you? It was me, you idiot. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> what are you doing? I did. I must have been as asleep. I was just talking to Irene a second ago about loads of old nonsense. Stand up. Oh. I sort of walk you around. Pink? Um, yeah, Ooh. I'm going to have a look. Is he pink? There's quite a lot. Oh, oh no. Really? Quite a lot on you as well. No, there's not. There I is. told you I washed it off. Don't I listen. Can't, I anyway. can't see myself. I'm unaccounted for. They leave me alone. <laughs> Do I feel any different? No. I think... Am I pink? No. Don't leave no. me alone, everyone. Don't leave me alone. Maybe we should get a move on. At what sort of time is it? How, how long has, it, has he been tinkering there? Could you all make a perception check, please? I'll get on. Oh, no. Um, yes, uh, 20. 14. 17. 12! You've been going for about five hours. <gasps> hey! Oh, no, maybe it's a trap. What? Oh, oh no. He's been up there for about two hours. Oh, oh no. Oh no. But you think you've been going for about <coughs> five hours. He thinks he's been going for five hours. How many are you making? Well, one for all of them, so there was what? Just one. He can only make one per, per night. Oh, he's making it one of them. Time. Oh, just for he one. Do, he doesn't have the right tools to make an explosive device. Okay, so it would be the one that we'd already opened. This is exceptionally unsafe and I've nearly <coughs> fallen asleep. I think we should go and get him. <laughs> Yeah. And move on. Well, you don't know that he thinks it's been five hours. You also don't know that he's fallen asleep. I'm yeah. also... Oh, uh, was, was asleep. Could you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Oh. Uh, it's just straight up wisdom. Uh, wisdom, are you proficient in it? You are not. So just your plus for wisdom. Eight. When you were upstairs in your room... But I am feeling lucky. Yeah. Fifteen. When you were upstairs in your room... <laughs> bed because you checked underneath it, you did check it all. It looked really comfortable. Yeah, it, really, it did look that yeah, way, yeah. but I didn't. Go to six, I rolled a 15, I don't know if you remember that. No, 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 I remember that. 15. Unfortunately, a 15 is not enough. What do you mean it's not enough? <laughs> Strong hag magic. I think it's time to go. <laughs> you went downstairs, you slapped Giddy around the head. <laughs> Acacia, you've gone downstairs, neither of them are downstairs. But you were just with me. <laughs> we were doing the locks. I don't like being alone. Your worst fear. We went into your rooms to check your rooms. Well, and we, I just didn't know. We separated. Basically. No, we didn't. He said that we did, but he doesn't know. We were together. <laughs> you go downstairs. Irina is asleep on the couch. Oh, can I pick my gun now? <laughs> yeah, you can make a uh, slight pound check. I'm actually just going to check her pockets. Sure. Uh, 16. It's the set of keys that you found. That's I'm going to take. I'm taking the keys. Sure. My yeah. keys. Now. Uh, could you make another slight pound check? Seventeen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you lift them. She's my keys. <laughs> 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 Can I stab Irina? <laughs> Do you want to? <laughs> you are currently downstairs <laughs> in the inn <laughs> by yourself. Hello. Everyone's just disappeared. I thought I was asleep on the. Downstairs. You must have gone upstairs at some point. I don't know what to do. I'm all alone. Well, I was just with you Where and I said we were going downstairs. What? Come and get me. What are you doing? Why am I not there? Were, were you with her? Yeah, of course I was. Don't talk that nonsense to me. We burnt his mansion down, by the way. I'm going, I'm going to go back upstairs and bang on his door. Because his door? We were, yes. Yep. No, no response. Bang again. You open the door? Yep, I'm going to open the door. Asleep on the bed. Okay, um, Arcturia senses how distressed I am and immediately pounces on him and starts scratching him to wake him up. Savage. Sleep on the bed. <gasps> oh God, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I will go and check everyone's rooms. Mm. I will open the door and see if I can wake anyone up. Sleep on the bed. Tinkering. <laughs> Away. Get out! <laughs> you don't hear the door open. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
What was your name again? Gregor. <laughs> he just lights the fuse. <laughs> you know, forget it. Just a mustache. Gregor, everyone else is asleep. Everyone's asleep. Oh my goodness. So, who are you talking to? What? You didn't is he just not reacting to me? Your door's not open. Oh, what? Oh. You've got a bomb to fix. Back to the bomb! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do, I'm all alone! <laughs> Could you free open your notes? Mine what? Oh! <laughs> no, what, I can open my notes? Oh, this is oh, mean. Me. This is cool. Oh, no. You are evil. <laughs> oh, I hate you. Just wait until you open your notes. Oh, no. Oh, I planned for this three sessions ago. I feel very ganged up on. <laughs> Acacia, during this time, you go to each of the rooms and these two are asleep. Mm -hmm. Garrett is also asleep. Mm -hmm. Gregor is fiddling away. You tap him on the shoulder, he's just fiddling with the, uh, with, with the, 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 the explosive device. Okay. You reason that perhaps jarring him further might not be wise. So he's, he's got the explosive. <clears throat> mm hmm you said the explosive would become inert with water. Yeah. <clears throat> I think right now, every, trying to figure out what's going on is more important than the explosive. I'm going to get a jar of water, soak it so it doesn't explode, and then try and shake the hell out of him. You can. I'm sorry you... to waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared and alone. I will shoot you. Mind <laughs> <laughs> coming out my misery. <laughs> Continue to um, fiddle away at wet powder. Can I take it out of his hands? Yeah, he's. Measuring out. This is very creepy. I'm, like, I'm pleased oh, I'm not in your position. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Could you make a wisdom saving throw, please? <laughs> That's very, very impressive. Seven. Not so much of the rock. <laughs> it's a seven. <laughs> you wake up in bed. Could you open your note? You may head downstairs for breakfast. You monster. What's going on? <laughs> oh, we God. Or... Yeah, if you want. You don't have to. You can stay in bed. You, you have we woken up? Yeah. Okay. You feel great. Hang on. I feel terrible. Am I, st I, am I still making cry. my pop? You, you've woken up in bed just to... <laughs> Probably soaked as well with all this water. Well, your, your, your desk is, is um, dry. The powder is there. You, you look at it, you go, it's inert. That's strange, because you were definitely working on it last night, but maybe something went wrong and you just decided to scrap it. That makes sense. Yeah, that's absolutely what you would have done. You would have gone, no, something's gonna go horribly wrong. I've poured water on it and I've gone to bed. Wasn't worth the risk. Bed <laughs> <laughs> downstairs. Right, oh, yeah, door. You can stay there. In that room, I, forever if you want. No, no, I wake up. I do need downstairs. a moment to uh, process the trauma. You head downstairs. Irina is there. Like, oh, good morning, my dears. I, I hope you slept well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, I mean, I, I do like to say I've got the best beds in Arkport. <laughs> the only ones, innkeeper joke. Um, I could get some breakfast out for, for the four of you? No, thank you. No, okay. I'm okay. I think. Oh, not a good night's sleep, my dear? No, it's strangely good night's sleep. Yeah, for me too. Yes. But I have no recollection of why I didn't finish the bomb. The what, my love? Uh, ignore me, woman. Um, I just, I, I, I'm just very confused. Unsuccessful? <clears throat> I think so, but I don't remember why. We need to get out of here. Yes, it doesn't feel good at all. Where is Acacia? Where is Acacia? <coughs> I have just sat like this in bed. In bed? Yep. Okay. I have not moved. Yeah, very good. Um, I'll, I'll go, go I'll, and find her. Okay. I'm checking all my... I'm getting my pack uh, ready yeah. and I'm... I, <clears throat> yeah, Dorian's not Something himself. is drastically wrong. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ghost. <laughs> You okay? Hello? Okay. <laughs> you good to come in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, you're 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 in. in. He's entered the room. Know. All I had was a knock. You picked the lock. All I, had, I didn't hear you come in. Oh, hello. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> 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 
Are you real? Yes. Okay. Okay. What's happened? This is... I don't like it here. Yes. Nothing's okay. It's a bit off, isn't it? Have you been asleep? Would you like to come downstairs? Yes, come along. Let's go downstairs then. And we go. <clears throat> As you head down the stairs, um, Irina is there with a tray of, of food. She's like, my dear, you look as pale as a sheet. Are you okay? Are you ill? Could I get you any medicine? Can I get you anything to ease your... Yeah. Are you okay? I'm just going to turn around and go sit down. I'm not talking to her. Okay, at the table. Very good. Dorian comes up to you. What happened last night? We were looking at the rooms and I woke in bed this morning. <clears throat> I thought we were looking at the rooms. And then what happened? Everyone was gone. He wouldn't react. I wouldn't react? To what? It was like I wasn't there. It was like no one was here. All I remember, the last thing I had was one of your perkies to keep me awake and then, then I woke up this morning. Sodden and no, no explosive device. I get my mask out again for the, the <coughs> ritual. I'm assuming now everything is pink, mm -hmm. including all of us. Okay, she's not. Okay. Us three are all gone. You seem to still be okay, but you're not okay. Take my mask off. I think I understand Errol. What do you mean? It's nothing's okay. If there is a hag here, we need to kill it fast. Then let's go. Forget the bomb, I say to you. Let's go! As you're leaving, Irina goes, Can I, um, are, you, are the four of you going? Are you, are you, are you checking out? No, we'll be back later on. Why? No, I uh, just wondered if I needed to clean your rooms out or anything. Um, shall I um, make the beds or anything like that for you? Oh, sure. I will go collect. Because we're going to leave our horses here. Yeah, <laughs> I will go collect what's left of my other Has Garrett showed up? Hmm? Has Garrett showed up? Who? Okay. Let's go kill a hag. Dor Dorian says. Who's Garrett? Who? Oh. <coughs> yeah. oh, we were looking for Victor. That's what I thought. Did you tell? Oh yeah, you said you were all gone, didn't you? <laughs> it's fine. Don't skip time, Mum. It's fine. Stuff. You <coughs> leave. You head out past the stables. Could you free make a perception check, please? Thirteen. Twenty-three. Nine. A nine. <coughs> Five horses. It's odd. And four of you. Something almost clicks in the back of your head. You don't know who Garrett is. Something rings a bell, though. You're not sure what. Can't place it. You two just carry on. What would you like to do? <laughs> Other Rental than murder me. Lighthouse. Is where I want to cry. Back to the lighthouse? Can I cry? Oh, sorry, not the lighthouse. The spring. <laughs> so the spring. Stressed. Okay, you head Gather back. all the villagers up in the town square. We <laughs> burn them! <laughs> <laughs> burn the whole thing to the ground! Uh, you head through the town. Pull out of that. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I want to keep good my morning. distance from those three as I am going, though. Uh, good morning. Mm, good morning. Good morning. We three. Yes. Are we being weird back to the villagers? Are we like, morning? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping yeah, my like, distance. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Gregor Martwick. Uh, Gregor Martwick. Ah, uh, Gregor Martwick. Gregor Martwick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good morning. <laughs> so weird. You head out of the eastern part of town down the dirt track towards the cliff edge where the spring is said to be. And... You see a small footpath leading down away, and on approach you can see it snake down the side of the cliff. The way is fenced off, a chain across it, as, you, as you've been told. Is, it, is the door to it padlocked? Mm -hmm. Can I shoot the door open with Bertha, because I've had enough? <laughs> <laughs> you may, make an attack roll, please. <laughs> oh, it is a, oh, I've got, oh, 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 that is a 24. <laughs> 
breach and clear. Boom! <laughs> uh, yeah, padlock flies off. The door almost swings open at the same time. A bit of it kind of goes and falls yeah. slightly as well. Open says me. <laughs> As you head down the path, it's slow going, the rocks are loose, the seawater has made them slip. But the path itself is not steep. Um, if you do stumble, it, it's no different to tripping up a curb or falling, uh, you know, missing a step on your way down a set of stairs. It, it's embarrassing and there's a risk of you twisting your ankle, but it's not exactly life friendly. And as you reach the midway point down the cliffs, you can see a large cave opening leading into the heart of the islet itself. You also see on the rocks below a small body. No! Mark's red stains. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Clothes torn and a mangy looking seagull plucking at no! his palate. Oh Sting. no! How are his hands looking? Can I immediately <laughs> rush to investigate? Uh, you're rushing, could you make a... No, I mean, we'll walk calmly to investigate, <laughs> but with some haste. Yeah, you make your way down and as you approach, you see that it is a gnome that is missing a pinky finger. They are face down oh. in the rocks. I mean, Their so head I... is cracked open, blood oh, sprayed God. across the rocks. I, mean, I immediately start speaking in um, a language I assume no one else understands. <laughs> What, no, Mish? Yeah. I don't believe so. I don't think I speak no. Mish. No. I'm just I'm very, very upset by the corpse of the gnome and say a phrase to the gnome. How does the phrase go? I mean, I can tell you what it is in <laughs> regular, <laughs> regular speak. Translate it for us. Um, it, it translates to all that is made can be made again, Aww. basically. And then I sort of try and prop him up so he's not just... And also shoot the seagull. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Get away! When you when you turn him over, you see that he is riddled with stab wounds. Oh, wow. His eyes are missing. Oh, oh God! God. Um, yeah, he he was killed long before being thrown off the edge. Here. How are his hands? Uh, I, I Does he have his hands? Yeah, yeah, he's got his body. hands. He's just missing the pinky. And very clearly distraught about. <clears throat> very concerned course. about what this hang is up to. Mm. Oh. So far, we have eyes missing and a scalp missing. Yeah, Dorian looks deeper into the, uh, the cave mouth. Okay. It um, leads into the islet for a, a little while. I'm going to send um, Arcturia ahead. I'm not going to look through her eyes, but I'm going to let her know to tell me if there's anything. Yeah. If I she looks going. up at you and she's like, if it all goes wrong and you don't pull me out and I end up getting battered into the sea again, we're going to have <laughs> words. <laughs> Do not talk to me. Listen. Unless there is something wrong that I need to know. You are not messing with me right now, cat. She at that she <laughs> stiffens a bit. <clears throat> Fine. Off she goes in. You just hear it's dark, it's wet, it stinks, it's wet. More wet. Oh, would you believe there's rocks in this cave? <laughs> would you shut up with the useless commentary? You told me to tell you if there I was anything. Listen, all I can see is there's a rock and, oh, you hear a splish. What is it? In response. I'm going to follow slowly into the cave. You free? Yeah, yeah, I'm following. Okay. Yeah. I'm weapon out like yep. Dorian is not it, 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 messing around. It's dark in here. You can see in the dark. You can, you two would need torches yeah, I'm, or I'm light. One of the two. I don't know if you've got this. Uh, I cantrip. think I don't think you do. Prestigitation, I can. You can create like a small create flame. Light. Yeah. yeah. Can so I, I make a suggestion? Yeah. I presume you pull out a. <laughs> if we think there yes. might be a hag in there, we don't want to alert her to our presence with torches. I'll alert her to my presence. <laughs> That's not, 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 not a bad point. Maybe wait here. You're going to go in there by yourself? You don't, you don't like being alone. I think that's a good idea. He can come with me. Pink. As long as he behaves. <laughs> what are we going to do? What if you need us and we'll fall, chip over and die? Besides, <laughs> so think she know we're here already. Yeah, probably. I think more, more arms and more weapons means more dead hag. Can you still see magic, enchantment magic? I can, yeah, I've got the ritual still, sort of on still... go. It, it takes him 10 minutes to reset the ritual every 10 minutes. Oh, right, okay. Again, all of this is steeped in enchantment oh. magic. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We oh. go together. Well, if you insist, then after all of you. <laughs> what happened to you last night? Yeah, she seemed quite curt. Best not to talk about it. Okay then. The mask goes into like this leering grin and then 
turns and walks into the cafe. <laughs> That'll make you feel better. <laughs> you got your best man on it. I feel terrible. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. He's just no more than a minute slow walk down the path. All the while I'm calling out to Arcturia, see if she responds mentally. As you venture, the cave begins to open up and you can hear the gentle bubbling of water that reaches your ears and the heat of steam hits your skin. Despite the darkness of the cave, it is faintly lit by brilliant blue waters that sit in the middle of it, extending through and further into the islet's centre. The cave walls themselves are cragged, covered in lichen and sharp jagged edges, but they cannot take away from the beauty of the waters themselves. Who's taking point? I suppose I did say I went first. I'll be right behind you because I'm fuming. Could you make a charisma saving throw, please? Thank God it's charisma. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, 11? This water's look nice, but... No, thank you. What do you mean? You don't want that. You don't want any part of that. Oh, is there something it feels off want, to you me? You don't want any part of that. Could you make a Christmas saving throw? Because you in second. Oh, 22. Mm. Mm. Yeah, again, th- those <laughs> waters look inviting, but you're like, absolutely. I'm not in a fun mood. No, thank you. Angry Gregor. Who's next? I was going last. A Christmas saving throw, please. Charisma? Mm-hmm. Hi. Oh. Uh, 18. Nice. The minus one as well. You, you've seen many springs. Hot springs, cold springs. This looks amazing. But you don't trust it. Mm. A charisma saving for please, <laughs> with disadvantage. Oh! 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 <laughs> Is a four? A four? Oh no. Take a dip, wash away your aches, your pains, your troubles. You begin to take a step towards the water. Could you make another charisma saving throw, please? Disadvantage still. Mm-hmm. Can we uh, grab her? No, stop her? She's kind of pushed past you at this point. Uh-huh. What a time to roll a one. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Having a bad time. So what? what is, uh, can we, if you, you push see past her, She's pushed past you at this point and is stood at the edge of the waters. Arcturia. I, I shout you. you Get see, away from the water. You see Arcturia actually paddling around in the water. Can I hear anything from her? She looks up at you. She, Come on in. <laughs> Submerge yourself. Let the cleansing water surround you. <laughs> Love God. you. Be one with the waters. Let them be one with you too. I do love being loved. Could you te- you begin to take a step into the water? Okay. I'm gonna grab her. Could you make an athletics check and an acrobatics check, please? Two. Go <laughs> I'm gonna be lucky. When sure. I do that. Seventeen. Seventeen. I'm not gonna be lucky okay. when I do uh, that. Yeah, you, you 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 let go and you move in up to your waist. Could you make another charisma saving throw? No disadvantage. Oh time. goodness. It's ten. Should open yourself up to the waters, your heart, your mind, your soul, your lungs. Can I try and pull her out? Let the waters cleanse you outside and in. Let them flow through you, but you can try and pull her out. Yeah, I shout to the others, get her out! What am I doing? An athletics check versus an acrobatics check, please. She wants to go swimming. Athletics? Oh! 15. 11. You pull her out and you're like, let me go, let me go! Snap out of it! Can I punch him? You can! I want that water, son! (laughs) An attack roll. Oh, what's my attack roll? Uh, An attack. D20 plus your dex plus... Oh, plus your strength. I presume you're just trying to punch him? Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to punch him. Just a strength. Plus strength. Uh, You mean minus strength. So it'd be plus one in total. Plus one in total? Ten. Uh, Yeah, you... you, you... Yeah, is basically what you're doing right now. That sounds about right for me. Stop the it. three of you see the waters glimmer from a brilliant blue to a deep green, then to an almost angry purple, like a bruise that refuses to heal. You can shoot the water. <laughs> <laughs> they begin to churn and bubble, and then the water calms, and they recede back to the turquoise blue of the fall. Uh. Have you just grabbed me at this point? Yes! Am I just... 
Yeah, you're flailing, you're flailing. And then eventually you kind of look down at your like waist below your way. Look up at Gideon. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> we went for a swim. Is Octoria still in there? Yeah, she's paddling around. She's... Okay. And... Okay, I'm getting rid of her. Yeah, oh. she... Go away. <laughs> Do we always see the cats go... <laughs> Yeah, basically. That's yeah. the first time we've seen that happen, right? Yeah. It's yeah. happened before, but it's probably the first time we've noticed it. Yes, yes, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I think you've done it out of uh, line of sight. Uh, so yeah, you three have just seen the cat disappear. Just go. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Are you okay? I have no idea what's going on. There's something off with this washer. That's for sure. It's a bit odd. <laughs> Times like this, when I wish I had my giant bomb. <laughs> I put you down now. Thank you. <laughs> As the the four of you are staring into the cabin. You hear her. <sighs> Careful. The waters are more alive than most in this place. There's the voice of Sylvie. Ow. From behind. Of course. <laughs> Pesky mortals having a nasty habit of sticking your beaks in where they don't belong. One day it will get you hurt. It doesn't have to be today, mind you. No, you see, we've both more important things to be getting on with, so there's no need for this to get unpleasant. I'll ignore the fact that you're trying to ruin what I'm doing here, and you'll ignore the fact that you were ever here. <laughs> As she's speaking, can I throw a dagger at her? Yeah, I turn to face her. Yeah. I want to throw a dagger at her. Go for it. Oh, she's yeah. here. We yeah, can she's see behind her. Can we see her? Oh. Yeah. What does she look like? It's herself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not now. Oh! Oh, it's <laughs> span on it! Oh! oh yeah. It's span! However, that is a 21. Okay, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Can't least roll the damage, please. Go for it. <laughs> Can't roll. Please. Oh, seven. Half bloods in your cursed trance blood. Honestly, do you know how hard I have to work to keep everyone here happy? Dossard, and you lot come along. Yes, you lot, like your friends before you. I'm gonna throw my dagger now. Go for it. <laughs> no, I will not stand for this. 17. <sighs> Honestly, are you not even going to listen to the proposition that I have for you? I think I'd rather you die. Or you could leave me to my business and I'll leave you to yours, which seems a fine deal to me. A better one than I've offered to others, mind you. You're I'm nothing if not a kindly sort. <laughs> kindly is not murdering innocents. Ah, oh, they weren't innocent. Did you kill the gnome? I'll admit, I couldn't resist. Gold eyes fetch a mighty price. Rare little things. <laughs> little because he's a gnome. Can I Deeply shoot while you're touching. speaking? Go for it. <laughs> Make an attack. Oh. Oh. I mean, it is, it is a 17. <laughs> roll your damage. Oh, oh. I didn't get to roll my second damage. Roll for your second damage then. It's only the d4. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. Um, 11. 11. Um, I rolled another 4. Another 4. Okay. <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> I'm giving you one last chance. Someone else throw something at her. To listen to what it is that I'm going to offer you. Leave Arkport. Don't return. You'll forget that you were even here. I have no interest in you. What is it you lot say? Devour the wealthy? Some sort of long lost little rebellion that everyone's forgotten about after some time. That's what I want to do. And what if the innocent villagers in this place? What of them? I have no interest in them. It's too easy. Preying on the poor and the downtrodden. It's easy to get them to agree to something, but it makes it just less satisfying, you know. What of Victor? What of him? He was up to no good and I am a businesswoman. I will have no interest in anyone bringing attentions or disrepute to this wonderful little town that I've set up in. Poor Mr. Mattingham. He worked for the wrong man, unfortunately. The sea, even in its shallows, is a dangerous place. I take out a third dagger. <laughs> Listen, I can sweeten the pot a little bit. What is it you say? Fatten the palms? Silly little notion like that. Look, a little something for the four of you. I'll even let you take some of the spring water, the good stuff, deep from the source. And if you want to be clever, I might have a little something more appealing for each of you. Because what you lot 
called the tide doesn't do justice to it, not really. It's hardly a crashing wave, a wondrous melody, a song being sung to the spheres themselves, promises of things to come, the return, the grand unification. Mm. Even hearing the smallest note would fill your very souls with power. Part of yourself being connected to the song of creation seems a fair trade for my being on my way. Kill the gnome! Is, is the, uh, how wide is the entrance to the cave? Uh, pretty wide, but I mean, you've, you've sort of come down into the cave. How does it look like they discovered it? They just... It was a cave mouth. Okay, and they like, just vented it in. Yeah, it looks like it, uh, potentially some of it has shifted in a... Then if we set Smith. these bang bang sticks in the tunnel, would it collapse? I've got no bang bang likely. sticks. Somebody made them very wet. No, she made no, one of happen. them wet. I only made one. Yeah, I know. That We've got four in canisters, which you could pry open are one of the canisters. Compromisable, believe you me. <laughs> I mean, I, so I'm, I, open I'm to just them. slowly walking behind you, and I grab, I put my hand on your shoulder, and I take the pack. Whatever you're thinking, my lads, may I offer you your little personal thing? Because your pain burdens you. I can see it in the mask that you wear. Not that one. Your real. The one you called your face. I can ease the pain, suffering. I can cure you of what ails you. But I wouldn't go messing around with stuff like that. Dorian looks at her and he's got the pack <clears throat> and he starts to take out some of the canisters and he says, if you think taking away the memory of my family is what would make me feel better, you just don't know anything, do you? Now I'm gonna blow the roof off this place. I'm gonna take you with it. Take oh. out my sword and I flick the uh, canister open, one of them, mm -hmm. and hopefully, I can make some magic happen. The <laughs> ungrateful little maggots. I will peel the nails from your toes and use them as toppings on my cakes. Your own long meat will be baked into my famous Scotchworth eggs. And you'll say thank you, Miss Dream Cleaver, as you eat your own piss from the beer that I will brew from it. <laughs> and then I will peel your skin from your flesh. And whilst you're still alive, make a shawl which I'll wear in the wonderful winter months. And you'll beg me Beg me to put you an end, and I still won't be bloody done with you. She pulls out a small rod and <coughs> jams it into the bottom of her chin. Yes. Her legs twist backwards uh. and stretch out, growing in height as talons burst forth from her boots. Bone splinters as her left hand splits apart, her fingers fall away in shards of flesh and bone as a gnarled claw pushes out from the stump. Her right hand, still holding the rod jammed through her lower jaw, elongates, goes gaunt, the skin a pale pink, as she rips the face on the end of the stick. Beyond it, a leering demonic visage peering back at you, a flowing mane of bright blue hair frames bottomless green eyes with twisted horns spiraling from her forehead. The hag raises her old face above her head, blood steaming as an impossibly long tongue lashes out to catch the mortals as they fall to the floor, her hair old, clumped and falling to the ground. I would ask you to roll for initiative, but that's the end of the session. Oh! <laughs> I want to run away. <laughs> I'm like, I need a moment. Some therapy, please. <laughs> so, you have found the hag. <sighs> Miss Dream Cleaver. Oh, she called herself. <laughs> but you'll have to see how your encounter with her goes in the next session. So, until that time comes, thank you very much for joining us. Sweet dreams. <laughs>